toroid is what's known as a toroid. Toroid is something like this. So you can get a coil wrapped around itself and it's wrapped around a complete circle. Okay? Goes a complete circle. So the magnetic field is again concentrated in the center. And again, I could do the integral. Um, B times 2 pi r equals B times 2 pi r, depending on how far away from the center I am, the 2 pi r changes. And then mu 0 i enclosed, and then i enclosed is the total number of turns times the current in one loop. So it'll be uh, n mu 0 i. So this one ends up to be uh, 2 pi uh, r. Okay, now, this one, interesting, huh? Resembles the magnetic field of a coil, n mu zero i over 2r. This one is n mu zero i over 2 pi r. So if you had a coil of a certain number of turns and a toroid of the same number of turns, let's say the radius was the same, the radius there was the same. And let's say the radius of this was the same. So this r, let's say, was the same as this r. So if the radius was the same, n was the same, i was the same, which one would have the stronger B field? The coil will win, huh? It looks like the coil will win because it doesn't have the pi. And then the toroid is going to lose by a factor of pi. And again, try to imagine what's going on. Why is that the case? Okay, one is a, a bunch of turns. They all add, they all add, and then uh, the magnetic field at the center is some number. The other one is a bunch of turns, and they're looped around, okay? And it has a certain radius. It's, 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 uh, the magnetic field is less by a factor of pi. Why? Well, why, what's making that? These ones are just all adding up. These ones are um, there. It's a little bit hard to get a good, simple answer, right? Right. Um, the toroid, you could imagine that the toroid is like a solenoid that's wrapped around itself, right? So it's take a solenoid and wrap it around as a circle. And if you make that the same radius as the coil, it's still going to lose from the coil, okay? Here's why. Remember, uh, uh, a minute ago I said, in order for the solenoid to match the coil, twice the radius must be equal to the length in order for them to match. Uh, so if I wrap this around a complete circle, the length is going to equal what?
it's going to equal 2 pi r, right? So the length is going to be longer. If the radius here is the same as the radius of the coil, if the, length, if the radius here is the same as the radius of the coil, the length of the solenoid is going to be longer than the length of the, the, than the diameter of the coil, right? L is going to be 2 pi r. So earlier, earlier we said L needs to equal 2 r. So L needs to equal 2 r. So it's greater by a factor of pi. In other words, here's what's happening. I'm essentially getting a solenoid that's longer than it needs to be by a factor of pi. Then I'm wrapping that around, and, I, and it has the same radius as the coil. So what happen, what's happening is the concentration, of the, the concentration of how much these are wrapped, how close this is, is a little bit elongated. So imagine, take a spring, OK, take a spring and elongate it longer than it needs to be. Therefore, the concentration of the wrapping is weaker. The concentration of how closely these things are wrapped. So what's happening physically is when you're, when you're stretching this longer, the gap between each wire is longer than it needs to be. And then when you're wrapping it in a, in a shape of a toroid, it's, it's, uh, the concentration of the current is uh, weaker. Whereas here, in the coil, they're each wrapped on top of each other, you see? So that's what's happening. And the, uh, the coil is more than a toroid. Uh, let me do this. For